why do you guys keep coming back to this video? Why? Why? I just need to understand why you guys keep coming back to this video. This is your new favorite YouTuber slash the modern day philosopher and welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to actually display this stuff also called rendering. Notice some of you watch these videos and you don't subscribe. Please subscribe right now. I will not upload more videos before you guys subscribe. This scene in technical terms to render or just to animate a loop. So let's do this thing. This is going to be very, very interesting. First of all, as you can see, the camera the position doesn't see it doesn't matter what you do with the position, how you change it, doesn't really matter because you can't actually see the changes. So let's create a function for us to see the changes. Call it function animate. What do we want to do in this function? We basically want to it has a built-in request animation frame, and then we wanna animate animate. So it's basically just a callback function. I literally, uh, that's the thing. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's basically just call its own function. And then you want the renderer, uh, the renderer, the one that we created, dot uh, render scene camera. There we go. And what do we want to do with this piece of information? We actually want to animate. We want to call the animation. And let's see what happens. Let's actually see what happens. Okay. Uh, we get an error or something. And it might get the... It might... render. Oh yeah, that's right. Guys, please watch out for the typos. Let's see what happens. Nothing happens, I guess. That is funny. Uh, I found, I found, I found. Animation. Animate. And the script is being called. <laughs> render that render scene. The render scene. Scene camera animate animate function what else do we have here is it because of the position zero no that can't be it i actually think it has something to do with the way that we actually uh what else what if i just type in some some weird code in here i think it may be the color that i chose Nope, that's not it. Oh, guys. Guys, 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 guys. I am back. I never left. I never left. As you can see up here, up here, zero point. Why do we have a comma? It should be a point one. It should be a point one. And now we have our cube. How amazing is this? How absolutely beautiful is this piece of code? We have a cube displayed. We have a, we, we actually have a, a, an actual 3D cube displayed in our browser. And you guys did it. You have literally contributed to modern science. 
How beautiful is that? How absolute. Let's just try to change the color, man. We just want to change the color to uh, what is it called green. Let's just see if something happens. And it does change the color to green. Now, of course, you can always just change the lightning and just make it, uh, I don't know, look a lot, uh, a lot more polished. But that's not what we are here for. We are basically just to create something awesome. And we've actually done that. How beautiful and amazing is this? Just because of a stupid dot instead of a comma. Placing a, st a stupid dot instead of a comma, right? That is how much of a difference this can actually do. So if you want to change the color, just uh, try to do that. So let's just type blue. Let's see what happens. And it turns blue. How beautiful is this? In the next video, we are actually going to animate this cube. So it actually rotates around. And that's just going to be a quick, easy video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and comment down below. See you on the next one.